Hi everyone, my name is Madison DeVries. And I'm Arush Naveed. Over the past year, we've both served in Fulton College's Associate of Students, also known as Student Government. I was a student senator. And I was the VP of Activities. Fullerton College has an incredible student government, but it comes with its fair share of pros and cons. Today, we want to share the good, the bad, and the ugly of student government. And hopefully convince you to join Fullerton College's Associated Students or the student government at your own school. All right, so some of you are probably asking yourself, why serve in student government at all? So since this kind of existential question is definitely important to answer, I want to begin just by specifying a couple of reasons why joining student government is a good idea. So being part of associated students or your student government allows you the chance to make the changes that you wish to see at your school. This can extend from introducing environmentally friendly policies or even making the cafeteria serve pizza all year. I don't think you can actually do that um, without getting impeached, but it could be entertaining. I think you get the idea, when you are in part of student government, you can really make the changes you want to see, which can be a really impactful difference to make at your school. Unfortunately, all these amazing benefits don't come without their fair share of downsides. Um, so now I want to kind of lead into some of the negatives of being part of student government. And to do that, I'm going to transfer control over to Arush. Thank you. Um, said control. All right, so for cons, before we actually start explaining any of the pros and cons, there's a small disclaimer that none of the cons that we're about to explain are reasons to necessarily avoid student government or never be in it. These are simply just downsides you should be aware of so you can kind of avoid wasting time on them or avoid getting affected deeply by them because you're already going to know how this affects you. So con number one is the time commitment. Shockingly, implementing real change requires time. Uh, in order for it to last long, that requires time. Um, I know it sucks, but to be an effectual leader, you need to dedicate at least four to five hours per week responding to emails, meeting, enduring meetings, um, attending school events, planning how to, you know, depending on which committees you are and what you're doing, planning stuff, um, and meeting other students and seeing how you can best represent them. All of that takes time and all of that takes effort. So if you're already busy with school and family and work, this is a lot to add on and that's something you definitely want to consider before you actually join associated students and how much time you're actually able to commit um, our wonderful advisor of AS has always told us that we are students first so that means if you are too busy with classes or your personal lives that does take precedence over student government um, so understanding that kind of time management is really crucial to making sure you're not getting bombarded and you're not signing up with a lot of stuff and realizing that you're then falling behind in your classes or with work or anything else that's important in life Okay, so con number two, student government can be draining. It often involves disagreements or long conversations with administration, faculty, unfortunately sometimes other senators, right? And those debates can be really draining on, on your mental health um, and, and on your own personal well-being. So it's really important if you're joining student government to make sure that you're taking the time for yourself. Mental health is really important and staying on top of your other classes and responsibilities is a, a really important part of your time at school. So making sure that you can prioritize that when joining student government is one of the most critical parts of being part of your own associated students or you know similar programs at your school yeah. that's a great point about you know mental health um, so con number three is that it, it involves the committees that we serve on so you have committees within associated students and you have committees that have faculty on it that are kind of outside of it but they're all trying to work to make the school better in one way or another and the thing about committees is that everybody who serves on them faculty staff professors they are getting paid obviously but students who serve on those committees are not getting paid and that i think is a big con because often these kind of committees will for that reason lack student representation because students can't give their time as faculty can because obviously faculty is getting paid but students are not so they can't really give their time as much so it's hard for them to commit to these committees and actually show up um, and that's why a lot of these committees then lack student representation both of those things are really bad uh, we need student input in everything we're doing whether it be a hiring committee or trying to make some change on campus and in order to incentivize that kind of student involvement we then need to also pay students for their time and that's something that is rather frustrating but it also has a lot of opportunity to change i know a lot of students currently right are working on getting yeah. um, student senators and stuff paid some schools already have that so that if that's something you're interested in to do in your community college that could be another great project 
Okay, so now that we've discussed the doom and gloom part of student government, we can move on to all the amazing benefits that being part of your associated students can bring you. So the first one is that you get the chance to make really meaningful change at your campus. Um, one of the best parts of student government is your capacity to actually change your school. As a student, this can be really significant because the changes that you're making will last long after you've graduated. So you'll really be having a sizable impact, not just on your time at your school, but also future students and making sure that they have an even better experience than you do. I know for Aruj and I, we were able to get a lot done during the past year of student government, not to brag. Um, <laughs> but during our time, we were able to plan over 30 events as part of the activities committee. Um, we wrote resolutions. Aruj started the YouTube channel and create, restarted the newsletter task force. So all of those things we were able to accomplish and then they can impact future students. So those are the kind of changes that you get to make if you join your student government, which is of course a wonderful reason um, to participate. Yeah. And the recordings for those 30 plus events, well, not all of them, <laughs> are available on the AS YouTube channel. Very true. Um, shameless plug. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the second pro is that you can get to surround yourself with dedicated and driven students. Obviously, if somebody's going out of their way to be in student government, they have some sort of passion or dedication or commitment that is getting them there. So to be able to network, work and connect with people like that is extremely important and is good for you to be surrounded by those kind of people because it's motivating and it's encouraging to do more work. Um, so instead of studying anxiously alone, you can have now the opportunity to study with other overworked and anxious students. And that I think can help a lot with stamina and especially during the pandemic, I think it really helped because it seemed like we were with other people even though we were all in our bedrooms. But, you know, seriously, working with other wonderful students has genuinely improved our commitment to Fulton College in general because we see how the impacts are going to benefit students and we see how we can really benefit other students as well. Okay, so the third pro of joining uh, Associated Students is that you get the chance to form important connections across campus. So as I'm sure you've probably heard, networking is important, but it's kind of unclear the best way to go about that. One of the great things about being part of student government is you're really working with faculty and administration across your school. So you'll get to know people up and down the academic ladder who you can then turn to for help or for future jobs and a lot of other benefits as you move through your different goals in life. The fourth pro, I'll just take this one too, um, <laughs> is that you get to gain a sense of community at Fullerton College. I feel like when I first joined, I didn't know a lot of people and so I was kind of isolated. But when you join student government, you really get to know a lot of other amazing students. You get this nice base of people who you can work with and who you feel really comfortable with. Um, which, oh, which, of course, drastically changed my comfort level at Fullerton College. I, I think a lot of other students also have a similar experience in associated students. Um, also, as a completely, totally unrelated note, when you're part of student government, you get to know all the faculty and administration, and then when you walk around campus, you get to speak to those faculty and administration, and you, feel really, really cool, <laughs> you feel really powerful and important. So that's not the main reason to join student government, but it's definitely a helpful um, and influential reason. Yeah. I think it's really powerful just to like know you go to random meetings and you know the president and you know the vice president and you know yeah. the deans and they know you by name and it's just like yeah I know powerful people I'm important yeah somewhat it's a little so random, yeah. yeah I mean I think that's a good incentive to join because you, feeling powerful I think makes you powerful it's like the whole mentality can help you work harder too yeah Alrighty, so now that we've discussed the cons and the pros, we kind of want to discuss what we learned personally from AS, just that has helped us grow, um, either as students or as leaders or just generally as people. So what I have learned from AS is patience, lots and lots of it too. Uh, I'm naturally a very impatient person, I feel like a lot of people, a lot of the kind of people that join AS are, but in order for you to work with other people, in order for you to work through systems and actually make change that's gonna last long you have to be patient because it doesn't happen like this you have to wait you have to work things out you have to answer other people's questions you may not like doing all of those things but that's all a part of the process and in order to go through that process successfully you have to be patient and that's the main thing that I would say I've learned um, in AS but another thing that I've learned is a commitment 
committing to what you start because I've seen a lot of projects in AS just fall through because people just aren't able to commit to what they said they were going to do even if they are extremely passionate about it other things in life just take over and again it also takes patience to understand that so um, commitment is extremely important once you start something you want to commit to it all the way to the end um, and actually work hard on that the third thing that I think personally helped me grow as a person is stop like just stopping complaining and actually start doing work um I think before I started AS, it was really easy for me to just be like, oh yeah, this thing doesn't work or that thing doesn't work and this this person's fault and that person's fault and they should fix it and they should do their job better. But I think once you join with AS, I think that goes back to your earlier point about getting to know faculty and administration. Yes, they understand how things are also out of their control and the people who are working above them, things are also out of their control. You really get to understand all these red tapes and bureaucracy that exists that can be kind of hard. So what... I think the main thing that I took away as a character trait is just start doing stuff that I think should be done, even if it's not necessarily my job. So if I don't like the slow communication, let's start a YouTube channel, let's bring back the newsletter. If I don't like lack of transparency, let's try to live stream our meetings. And that one didn't end up happening, but I tried. Um, If I don't like not having printing, um, let's put printing kiosks on campus and let's advocate for that. So it's things like that. Even if it's, it is somebody else's job, technically, if somebody else's department, you can always give them a nudge to do it. You can always bring it up because they may have, may have just never thought about it before. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think for me, I definitely learned how to be a better leader through AS. When I first joined, I definitely... Okay, my whole life, I've kind of enjoyed being in charge of stuff, but I think I never really learned how to actually lead, how to make sure that I was listening to other people and not just micromanaging everything. I had a tendency to just take over every aspect of a job and then not listen to anyone else. And that's not really leadership. At that point, you're really just working alone. And so I think through AS, I really developed my leadership skills. I learned to delegate how to make sure other people were also involved in the things that I was doing and how to listen to other people and I think those skills are really important and things that you kind of need to learn as you go into really any job or any you know any profession or field or dream that you have making sure you can work with others I feel like it's really helpful so that's definitely something I learned and then I think also similar to Aruj I really learned how to be patient If you're wondering why you need to be patient in AS, I would recommend rewinding this video to watch the cons section. Um, But it's definitely an important skill. I also was not a patient person. I had a tendency to get really frustrated with people when things didn't automatically happen. And I think through AS, I learned how to how to let other people have time to accomplish things, how to have more patience with other people or things that aren't working, not to give up because of course you should not give up on your goals in, in student government or you know in life in general, but how to be able to wait and, and not get super frustrated. So I think those were probably my two primary like takeaways from AS um, and they're definitely skills that I can apply to you know my future goals and, and, and dreams. I think I missed one point. Um, which is learning to kind of talk less and listen more I've always been the kind of person who talks a lot and I still am Um, and I think people with that kind of personality we have to tune out what other people are saying entirely thinking about what we're going to respond next Um, but I think in AS you really just learn to listen because there's so many other people who have all these great ideas who are trying to do stuff and it's a real loss to you if you don't listen to them Right. and I think AS just taught me the importance of understanding, listening to understand, not listening to respond. <laughs> because there's a big difference, right? Yeah. To, in order to understand and comprehend what the other person's saying and actually take it in and maybe see if you can start working on that versus just responding and be like, well, actually, I think we're going to do this or I think we should do that. Well, no, shut up and listen, right? So that's the kind of stuff that I think I really learned in AS. And I think that goes really well with patience. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think student government just kind of changes you as a person in its entirety. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, all right, so we hope that you like this video and will decide to join your student government either at Fullerton College or at your own school. Um, good luck with you know all your dreams taking over the world. And uh, I thank you for listening. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye.